Hi there. I'm going to give a demonstration of how to use my vertical puller. It's really quite simple. Close up. I'm going to use this to start with because the verticals are real tight. I can't get them in there. So I can take this and slip it underneath the vertical. It's attached to a rope. That rope goes down through the table down to a cleat down on the bottom of my bar, okay? And all I do is make sure that's in there securely, and I, I say make it, and I push down, and I take my vice grips, and clamp on right there. It's important, and I, I have a piece of rope here, and we have to do this and keep on going around Hold on. until I get enough slack, I can use a different puller. It's real important to keep your, your pliers tight. If your pliers, if the rope slips after your pliers are attached, it, it can damage the rope some. I put pressure on my, with my foot, I release the pliers, then I push more. You got to be careful that you don't over pull it and get the ring out of level. Now the verticals will loosen up some. I've started with a really pretty tight drum, so I'm going to switch over to something else here shortly to show you the other puller I have. So you put pressure, release the pliers, and go down. It's as simple as that. And just keep going all the way around. Okay? Cut. What do I do? It's black. Oh, there it goes. Shh. Start over. <laughs> okay, I have, I have switched over to a, a different drum because I needed more slack. Instead of using this little flat cleat, I'm using this homemade cleat. Okay? And this is just something I used to help prevent the rope from ever getting cut. And it's real simple. I just put it like that, and I twist, pull that, and then I pull down. Now you have to be careful you don't pull too hard. Then I clamp off, I do the same thing as I did before. I pull the rope around, I do this, I twist it, I say I twist it. and I pull down, then release, and you just keep on going around. The, the, the reason I use this is to keep from cutting the rope. Okay. Mm. Wait a minute. Okay, this is a demonstration of my diamond puller. It's in the vertical puller is a offshoot of the diamond puller. So the first thing I want to do is adjust it. This thing's adjustable. So I can just loosen this nut, get it up a little higher, and tighten it back up. Don't want to over tighten it. Strip out the threads. And then you just make a diamond like you normally make a diamond. I pull that down, come around, and go through. And I put it all out. Pull it down. I hook it on there, and that's it. That's as hard as it gets to pull a diamond. Let's try that again. And the other thing is, I don't feed the rope through from the, from the end. If you push, you push this through, any twist in the rope will twist into it. So I call it pulling the rope through backwards. I take it, and I push it under, up, and down. And still, here, you know, you don't have to look for the end all the time either. And just pull all the way through. Pull both of them at the same time. See the twist? They just come right out. Pull it down. Hook it in. And bam. That's it. That's as hard as a diamond is. Okay, so we just make them keep making diamonds and just keep on going around the drum. 
get through pretty quick. You can also keep them really, really low. It's um anybody can make can pull diamonds this way. It's what I find hard to do sometimes. Okay, you can take it out. Turn it on. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome.